Have you ever asked yourself why God promised the children of Israel the land which flows with milk and honey? Think about it. Because some of us, we picture what is in our mind. It is rivers, mountains, valleys, gushing out sweet milk and sweet honey. But let me tell you something. Milk and honey is a metaphor of something very important. When you look in Numbers chapter 13 verse 27, the spies, the 12 of spies in the land, they reveal the secret or the metaphor or the mystery of the milk and honey. They say, indeed, the land God promised us, it flows with milk and honey. But this is the fruit. It is the proof of what God promised. In other words, the metaphor of the land which flows with milk and honey God surely was trying to communicate to these men and women that I'm giving you a land which has finished product. Because if he spoke of cows and uh, bees, then he would mean the raw material. But in this instance, he meant finished product. In this instance, he meant the fruit. So all of this, it gives you a serious and very vital communication and the interest of God. God is interested in the finished product more than the raw material. It's not a coincidence that men and women who have brought up that finished product on the market. They are disposed to earn more. They are way far, they are far way bigger, even exposed to earn more money than those who have presented the raw material. Now I want to speak to you right now. You who is selling food straight from your garden, if you are selling food, think of adding value to that food. Think of adding value or refining that raw material. If you are doing so, you would think of starting a restaurant or serving or selling finished meal to the people. Then you will have to double maybe to earn more than the one who is selling just cassava straight from the garden. Now, you who is selling crude oil, think of owning a refinery. You who is selling flour, think of owning a bakery. Because when you add value to that service, to that product, when you come up with the finished product, you'll earn far better, you'll earn far bigger than the one who has locked himself on a raw material. This is the wisdom. This is the wisdom. Here is the wisdom. It says, if you can work on your talent, it is a raw material. If you can work on your gift, it is a raw material and you refine that service, you will be into a better place for greater establishment, for greater prosperity, for greater excellency. I love you. Dr. Brown Cheney is my name. Bye-bye.